I'm Johnny Five, and today we're saying cheers to the new Floss 3 Lite. Now I started seeing pictures come up from some of the Pyro team pilots of a new Floss 3 Lite version that was gonna be 20 by 20. And I started thinking to myself, wow, I think I've had every single floss that's ever been released. The floss one, the floss two, the floss 2.1, the floss two mullet that I created myself, which was a floss two with two uh, version two arms in the front and business six inch boomerang arms in the rear. I really loved how that thing flew. And of course the floss three. I actually have here my floss three potted uh, version right here with the nylon pod and this little turtle mount fin that is really awesome. But when I heard this thing came out, I was like, whoa, I wish someone would do a video on that to tell us all what to expect and what it's about. And then I was like, oh, I guess that should probably be me. So thanks Serge for sending me one of these to show all of you guys what the big fuss is about. Now here, we're gonna take a look at some of what this frame has to offer that's different. Holding it up compared to the Floss 3, you actually have a almost identical um, resultant angles on the arm. I wonder if those braces are gonna fit. It's, I can't quite tell the, if the braces are gonna be cross compatible or not but your overall footprint in the front is very similar. Looks like it's slightly shorter in the back. You can see there is quite a difference on all three of these. The Floss 3 top plate, two millimeters. Floss 3 light, also 2.09 millimeters. So it has reduced some material here, as you can see to save some weight, but it's kept the same thickness, so you should have similar durability. Here we have partially assembled the Floss 3. You can see that the arms line up in a very similar way um, as the regular Floss 3, but this light one is much thinner, and of course, as mentioned, it is 20 by 20 only. So putting all the parts on the scale of the Floss 3 regular, I get 74.1 grams. And if I put the Floss 3 light, with the screws, and camera holders, I'm getting 59 grams. So you lose a good 15 grams. I went ahead and threw a camera on here so that you can see that the camera connector does indeed come very close to those 20 by 20 holes. So typically the edge of the board is gonna stick out a little further. I have seen some of the test pilots um, put that camera with the camera mount facing to the front. But what I may actually do is use a Runcam Nano 2 that actually does not have a connector on it. And then I can probably still get away with using this mount if I use the adapter. God, this thing is light and it is cool. I love, of course, the Floss 3 introduced the, the metal middle plate that fits the arms in these channels that allows you to have very stiff arms, no wiggle. And the most impressive thing is that this no wiggle is achieved by sandwiching the arms. That is the secret. And in addition to sandwiching these arms, arm replacements are only one screw. That's right, only the screw on the end needs to be um, taken out to be able to swap this arm. And they just slide straight in. You put the teeny, there's like a little slightly pointier side to the middle, I believe, and it just goes boom, slaps right in there. It's such a satisfying click when you slap it in there and then boom, tighten your arm up um, and you are good to go. When I'm at, out at the races, I actually have my little power screwdriver right here. So I'm like my own personal pit crew in the pits. 
So who is this thing for? This is for serious racers. Now, a lot of times when you give up weight, you give up strength. But as you can see by what we just saw, all of the thicknesses are the same. The arms, the plates, everything. So they're achieving this by reducing the width needed here on the sides and reducing a lot of material there. So you should pretty much have the same amount of strength with a reduced weight and a reduced profile in you know going towards the middle that is such a cool idea um, so these are very very close but different so if the floss 3 was robocop is this the new 2013 version of robocop that's a little bit lighter a little bit sleeker a little bit cooler well as a cooler i'm not really sure but this floss 3 light definitely is cooler and i love that they have included this hyperlight blue on here now stay tuned because in a few more days i am going to have what everyone has been waiting for the new hyperlight e motors that's right so more details on those to follow but the hyperlight e e stands for everyone and that's because everyone's going to be able to afford these motors and we are going to install them on this floss 3 light so stay tuned guys this is probably the only time that you're ever going to see me do two videos in one day but i had to rush home immediately when i found that this package had shown delivered to be able to get this information to you thanks guys